what to do when there's a rattlesnake on the trail, not letting you through. What's up, buddy? You gonna let me through? Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's creepy. Right, at least I saw it. Didn't step on it. So that was the uh, third rattlesnake I've seen in three weeks. Uh, uh, I've seen one every weekend for the past three weeks. The first two were babies. Uh, one of them was on the same trail, but several miles back that way. This is the Gabrielino Trail. Um, so yeah, I guess it's that time of year and they're out. You gotta be careful, more vigilant of where I'm, I'm walking. Uh, the first two I saw were coiled up. This one was just laying across the trail. And I've, I've had a, an incident a few years ago where I almost stepped on one. I To this day, I don't know how I missed it. But uh, it was right in front of me and at the very last second, my buddy put his hand out in front of me and, and uh, it was, I felt so dumb in that moment because it was so obvious <laughs> and I still didn't see it. But um, I've learned since then to be more vigilant and now I'm a little bit better at spotting these, these rattlesnakes. <sighs> this is a nice hike though. Anywho, I'm going to start uh, making up some time. See ya. This was a nice surprise. Didn't expect to come across this fall. The water is inviting. Ooh, it's not that cold. It's pretty great, actually. <laughs> Very refreshing after hiking for two... Over two and a half hours. I still got to hike back two and a half hours, so... I think I'm just going to hang out here for a while, eat, and... Uh, you know, obviously I have water, I could filter. Kind of want to go in all the way. I'd have to kind of strip to my undies, but I don't see anybody else around, so I might just do that. <laughs> 